Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you a very quick way for retouching skin and softening skin here in Photoshop. And this is something that came out with Photoshop 2022. If you have an older version of Photoshop, I'll put a link to a video I have where it's a more manual process, but with this update, we could just do this with one click. Let me show you how it works. I'll put a link to the latest version of Photoshop, a free trial link below in the description of this video if you wanna follow along with this version. Let me go back to my original image here. And this is all it takes. Select the layer, so I just opened the JPEG right here. I went to filter and neural filters is what I wanna use. Now there's a bunch of different neural filters here and if you haven't used these, these are really mind blowing and what they could do is really shocking. Like these smart portraits, for example, <laughs> lets you actually add a smile to someone's face after the fact and look at this. That's crazy, you just <laughs> added this smile here. Let me go ahead and turn that off. That's not what I wanna show you here. Skin smoothing should be the one right on top but they are adding new stuff to this all the time but you could just press download and then you'll get the slider. Click this and by default, it's gonna give you a natural amount of smoothing here on the skin, but you do have two sliders. So let's just go ahead and maximize our blur over here. So you can see it's softening it a little bit more. Now it's not gonna let you do it to an unnatural level, which I love. So even if I go to a hundred and if I zoom out here, it doesn't look so unnatural. And you could take the smoothness all the way up too. So. I don't recommend you go to the maximum here because I think it's starting to look a little unnatural unless you're doing a uh, glamour shot. So I would usually keep it around 75 here and go to about 25 here. And then you wanna output to a new layer. You don't wanna override your layer. So I'm gonna output to a new layer, press okay. And now this is what I had before and this is what I have after. Let me zoom in to show you a little bit closer. Before, after. A big difference, but it's still subtle enough where it doesn't look Photoshop. I hope you found this quick video useful. I do have a link to the latest version of Photoshop if you want to follow along with this technique. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.